Hello, in this quick video I want to show you how to create such a nice little low poly waves effect. I'm learning about Vex in Houdini and I have figured out how to do this and I think that it's pretty cool, so I will explain to you how it's done. First we will need to create a grid with enough rows and columns to have enough resolution for our waves. The next step is to create an attribute wrangle node and write two lines of code. First we will need to create a easy scale attribute and it's going to be a floating point attribute. So floating point means any number with uh, decimal points after it, like 1.1 or 1.5. And this f, before the add symbol, it signifies that it's a float attribute instead of an integer. So we create a float attribute, we call it zscale, we could have called it anything we want, but it will match with our future node, so we call it zscale. And we pass a noise function to it, which will create noise based on point position. So p means point position. And it, it will take a position of every point and create noise for it. And then we add a time to it. So time takes the current frame and adds it to the point position so that we have this nice cool little animated noise. And then we uh, set CD attribute, which is a color. So CD means color and we set it to a Z scale on R, G and uh, B values. That way we will have color matching parameter that guides our extrusion in the future. The next step is to colorize this noise. We simply create a color node and we switch class to primitive and color type to ramp from attribute and that will be able to take the black and white color values and add color uh, to them based on this gradient. Attribute will be CD, which again means color. And here we simply modify the colors to uh, colorize our noise uh, however we want. And finally we will need to create poly extrude node. Uh, we set distance to 1. We set divide into individual elements so that each face is uh, extruded separately. And then we switch to local control tab and we tell it to use the scale attribute as the distance scale. So it will take our noisy attribute and will modify the distance of every extrusion to match this attribute. And as a result we have such a nice fun little pixelated ocean. I think it's pretty cool and fun so I hope that you have found this tutorial useful and interesting. And I'll see you in my future videos. Oh, and one more quick tip, if you don't want to create a pixelated ocean and just want to add noise to the grid, you can do it very easily as well. So in the attribute triangle node you will need to switch from primitives to points and then simply tell it to take the z-scale attribute and put it into point y position. So for every point it will take its y position and modify it according to z-scale. And then you create color node as well and it works without any changes except for using point in the class parameter instead of the primitive and that way we have a nice non-pixelated ocean and that's pretty cool as well.